Sitting Bull was a Hunk Papa Lakota Sioux chief and medicine man who is best known for his role in the Great Sioux War of 1876-77. to He was born in 1831 in present-day South Dakota and was named Jumping Badger. He later earned the name Sitting Bull for his fearlessness in battle. Sitting Bull grew up in the Lakota Sioux tribe and was known for his bravery and skill as a hunter. He quickly became a respected member of the tribe and was appointed as a tribal leader at a young age. As a young man, Sitting Bull participated in several battles against neighboring tribes, including the Crow and the Shoshone. Sitting Bull rose to prominence in the mid-1860s when he led a group of Lakota warriors in a series of battles against U.S. troops. He became known for his military strategy, which emphasized surprise attacks and guerrilla warfare. He was also known for his spiritual abilities, and many Lakota believed that he had the power to predict the future. In 1868, Sitting Bull was present at the signing of the Fort Laramie Treaty, which was supposed to provide the Lakota with a large reservation in South Dakota. However, the treaty was not respected by the U.S. government, which continued to encroach on Lakota lands and resources. In 1876, tensions between the Lakota and the U.S. government boiled over, leading to the Great Sioux War. Sitting Bull played a key role in the war, rallying a group of Lakota warriors and leading them in battle against U.S. troops. The most famous battle of the war was the Battle of Little Bighorn, which took place on June 25, 1876. During the battle, Sitting Bull and his warriors joined forces with the Cheyenne under the leadership of Chief Crazy Horse. They successfully defeated the 7th Cavalry Regiment, led by General George Armstrong Custer. The battle was a significant victory for the Lakota, but it also marked a turning point in the war. The U.S. government responded with increased military force, eventually forcing the Lakota to surrender. After the Great Sioux War, Sitting Bull and his followers fled to Canada, where they lived for several years. In 1881, Sitting Bull surrendered to U.S. authorities and was taken to the Standing Rock Indian Reservation in present-day North Dakota. Sitting Bull became an advocate for Lakota rights and continued to resist U.S. government policies that violated their sovereignty. He also became involved in the Ghost Dance Movement, which was a religious movement that promised the return of the buffalo and the restoration of the Lakota way of life. In 1890, tensions between Sitting Bull and the U.S. government reached a boiling point. Sitting Bull was seen as a threat to the government's efforts to assimilate Native Americans into mainstream American society, and he was viewed as a symbol of resistance. On December 15, 1890, U.S. troops attempted to arrest Sitting Bull at the Standing Rock Indian Reservation. A scuffle broke out, and Sitting Bull was killed in the ensuing chaos. The exact details of his death are unclear, but it is believed that he was shot in the head by a member of the Indian police. Sitting Bull is remembered as a fierce warrior, a wise leader, and a powerful spiritual figure. He played a key role in the Great Sioux War and was instrumental in the Lakota resistance to U.S. government policies. He continues to be an inspiration to Native Americans and others who seek justice and respect for all peoples.